leading intervention radiologist, talks about his education and experience. He did his training in the U.S. in neuro and body intervention radiology. He also has experience from working in India and Singapore. I done my education like uh, MD radiology, then I done my neuro radiology, and uh, I trained in uh, United States of America in neuro and body intervention radiology. I trained in the U.S. in Johns Hopkins in neuro and body intervention radiology, and later on I worked some time in Singapore General Hospital also in intervention radiology. I took a lot of uh, talk and the lecture for a society and in doctors associations and the groups that must be like more than a hundred and I written some few papers also particularly in intervention radiology and in uh, radiology also. In intervention radiology if you see that like the most of the procedures we do the without surgery and a good number of these patients they go for a surgical uh, procedures also but if you see the advantage of intervention radiology, right, that need the like the very minimum hospital stay, like maybe the daycare procedure or just you need the 24 hours hospitalization. And the expenses definitely is the less than expenses like a surgical major procedures. And in these are the procedures, right, even in not a single scar comes, so no stitches, no sutures, even the no blood transfusion also needed in the most of the uh, cases and good number of the procedure done under the local anesthesia and hospital stay is the less so patient feel very comfortable and they can start moving right from the next day like i like to give you some examples right what kind of the procedures we do that uterine fibroid which is the very commonest uterus benign tumors into the in women and uh, these are the, like the most of the women they go for a like removal of the uterus right and most of the women, they feel that like the surgical procedure is always a stigma for them. So that's why most of the women nowadays, they start going for a like non-surgical treatment, which is known as the uterine artery embolization. And this need just the 24 hour hospitalization only. And some few like other procedures like a varicose vein, which is the like dilated veins, zigzag appearing blue veins in the both the legs. And these also we treat by non-surgical treatment which is technique is known as the like the laser and the radio frequency ablation. These procedures having the very high success rate as compared to the what the existing the surgical procedures. And other like uh, liver tumors we do the unoperable liver tumors in that condition we do the chemo embolization. We do the other kind of embolization in liver tumors we do the radio frequency ablation also and some other conditions like if a block fell if in tube is there we open that without surgery if a people having the like the varicose seal in the testes that also we treat without surgery none of the patient they have the, a single stitches we just go with the small kind of the bore needle and we enter inside and whatever the abnormal veins are there in the varicose vein that uh, we repair that and uh, in this particular pr procedure in radio frequency ablation for a varicose vein, patient not supposed to do the rest. And next day, they, even they can drive the car and they can do the, their all kind of the mental and physical normal activities. The varicose vein is the condition, right? Uh, this is now we consider nowadays, this is a lifestyle disease. And uh, if you see the like the male and the females, the most of the like women, they feel that uh, they are having the more the problems because of the varicose veins and particularly like if you see the nowadays a lot of new job also available like a standing job sitting in a computer and hanging down your legs also for a longer time and even the, like if you see the other professional people like police officers those are working in the big malls and other things these people they are having the more standing job rather than the like the sitting job so these people they get the veins and how to identify these veins like once you start getting the like a little pain diffuse pain in the leg dilated veins which look like a blue color and zigzag kind of the vein you may sometimes see the discoloration of the skin blackness of the skin so these are the like the you can identify by yourself this is the varicose veins medical tourism corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.